Hey, this tutorial is going to be about authenticating your domain name for your email autoresponder like MailChimp or Constant Contact. I'm using MailChimp and I'm going to show you how to do this. This is a new feature that Google is rolling out in February of this year. So you have to have your domain name authenticated or it, the emails that you send from Constant Contact or MailChimp will come from something at MailChimp.com instead of your official domain name. So here I am in I'm in my account for Web801 with MailChimp. I'm gonna go up here to the top right and click on this little icon and it's gonna drop down. I'm gonna click on profile and then I'm gonna click on domains. And then you'll see I have two different domain names. The one I wanna authenticate is my Web801. It's in process already. Uh, the email authentication process, I pick where my domain name is registered. In this case, mine is a GoDaddy. Then I go to my go my domain name provider and here it gets a little tricky. I'm going to have to log into my GoDaddy account and I'm going to have to edit the DNS and add a couple records. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to get here. I'm going down to there's my web. Video. I'm going to manage. I'm going to click manage domain and then DNS. So now I'm here, this is the DNS. And then I'm gonna go back to this and it's gonna say add button and for the type C name, for the host, uh, the, the, I'm gonna copy and paste this information. For the points to, I'm gonna copy and paste this information and the TLL, I'll leave the default setting. And it looks like I'll do this two times. So C name one, C name two. So let me do that now. I'm gonna copy this, go back here, add new record. The type is a C name and what did it say? The host. So it's a little different. The host is the name and the value is the points to, and then the, that I'll leave the same. I'm gonna click add more records. I'm gonna do it again. C name. And then there's the host, or in this case, the name and the value is the points to i'll keep that out and then save all records it's going to update and it'll say success now i'll go back here <clears throat> i'll click next and it's going to have me add another record so i'm going to copy this one this is a text record so then i'm going to go add new record and this time it's a text Let's see what it says. Okay, so same thing. The host is the name. The points to is the value. And the default is the TL is the default. So I'll click save success. And then I'll click next again. Okay, so now it says wait. It can take MailChimp some time to validate. And I'm gonna click check status and success. I'm going to click all these. These are all just notifications that it worked. Okay. And so that is now that domain name is now authenticated. And that's how you authenticate your domain name using GoDaddy and MailChimp. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and hope this helped. If you like this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.